Good morning. Today we're going to make um, something called Uncle Nick's Biscuits. This is something that he came up with um, and all rented himself. And this is Uncle Nick. For this recipe, what you'll need are muffin tins, pan cooking spray, sausage, eggs, cheese, and small biscuits. We actually have the uh, Ralph's brand biscuits here, but any biscuit that's not the large Hillsbury biscuit will work. Absolutely. All right. So what do we do to start? All right. First, we brown brown our sausage. And then while you're doing that, you want me to start cracking eggs? Oh yes, please. How many eggs will we need? Eighteen total. Eighteen total eggs. We're making this batch for a large amount of people, so we're making a large amount of biscuits. How many um, do you usually make for just your family? Usually one pound of sausage, uh, six eggs beaten. Uh, we thin the eggs out with some water and eight ounce bag of cheese on top to to bake it all nice and crispy. Okay. So all the cooking shows tell you not to crack the eggs directly in, and that's because you can get blood and different things in the eggs. Our eggs are so pasteurized that it doesn't matter. It's so rare that you're going to get an egg that has a beak in it that there's no reason to. Now if you're using farm crush eggs, yes, do crack it into a different bowl and then add it to your batch. Okay, cool. One uh, 10 biscuit can will make 20 biscuit muffins. Alright, so this is what 18 eggs looks like. And I'm going to start by just breaking all of the yolks. That way it's part easier for, easier for me to whisk these all together. And we're going for like an even scramble. We don't want to froth these, right? That's right. All right. I'm going to grab a little cup so I can get some water so I don't add water to that. All right. You just keep cooking the sausage down until it's all done. Just keep stirring it around, breaking it down. Alright, so just a little more. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so come over here and look at how nice it is. Should be about this consistency. Remember, like you said, like you want an omelet. Uh, you can go ahead and spray the pans. I don't like to use the the muffin cups. I just like to spray the pan and they just pop right out. All right, and just cook it like a like you would with a muffin. Yep. All right. All right. This is about done. That's nice really and good. brown, no pink. I watched him turn on the oven and set to 350, so the oven will already be warm when we want to start, and we'll just pop them right in. Um, this says cook it at 400 degrees. Ignore that. Do what Uncle Nick says. And this says we cook for 10 to 13 minutes, so we'll cook these about 16 minutes, according to me. And you can check at, at 14 minutes. If, if your cheese is already melted, just a couple minutes more and it'll be nice and crispy. One of these, there's a tab on the side. Just pull that around. You press it to, you can just do it with your finger. Boom, there's a dynamite. So for one biscuit, we just take it and tear it right down the middle. Try and get consistency on both sides. So you have half a biscuit and then just play with it and form a disc and just place the disc at the bottom and then just spread it out to to the edge of the the bottom. Yeah. Like this. Like that. So is the object to get them thin or is the object to get them touching all the sides? Um uh combination of both. You want a nice consistency, you want uh, an even thickness on the dough, but you want to spread them out a little bit so it'll come up on around. Okay. 
Alright, so that took us about a half hour total to brown all the meat, mix up the stuff, layer all the bottoms of the tins. So if you're only doing a six egg recipe, it will probably take you ten minutes. Yeah, the sausage cooks up pretty quick. This doesn't take very long. Your eggs are already whipped, or it doesn't take long to whip the eggs. Um, and then you just combine ingredients. My cameraman is telling me it only took us 20 minutes. Excellent. <laughs> you just take about half a spoonful, if it's a large Watch spoon. What are doing, dude? And then just put it right on top. And we're finished. Dip and I get the excess off. And you just fill to cover the sausage. There we go. All right. All right. And like Shall I we say, have cheese we use, and then I'll help you out. Just a pinch on the top, maybe a little bit more, depending on how big your fingers are. <laughs> and then I just work it, work it around. We are fortunate to have three racks, so we'll put. Close that up. Get my glasses clear. So what do we think? It looks nice Not and melty. Alright, so that was three more minutes? Yep. Three more minutes. Done. Ooh, yeah. I can see the difference. One thing that we've also discovered, if you like a little sweetness with your salty, you can use the jam or jelly of your choice. Here we have a raspberry preserve that will go perfect along with the breakfast muffins. Those are popping out perfect. So what are we talking about with the egg? The nice egg. base of biscuit on the bottom and then the egg. It's almost like an omelet on top of a biscuit. Very nice. Perfect. Yeah. Ashley, what do you Who think? Wants Who wants to be on the internet? Vicky does. Um. Oh no, the jam makes it. Eat some.